ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. One clear and sunny afternoon, the eastbound stage out of Puente, transporting $15,000 in gold bullion, wheeled peacefully across the silent Texas plains. Nearby, the Lone Ranger and Tonto roamed the countryside in their never-ending crusade to bring law and order to the West. Over there, Kimisami. Come on, Silver! Somebody's coming. End here, Kimisani. They took to the stream to throw us off. What do you think, Tunnel? Uh, we try downstream. You give him the slip? Yeah. I had to listen to you. It'll be a breeze, he said, just like opening a can of beans. Shut up. How'd I know those strong boxes were burglar proof? You might have checked. And then to top it all off, that masked rider and the Indian had to horn in. Where'd they come from? Who knows? Two months of planning I invested in this job. When I think of the haul we could have made, there's got to be a way. No strong box is gonna stop me. You know, Blaze, you might go to school and learn how to be a locksmith. Oh, shut up. I think the coast is clear now. Time we were heading back to Risco. What about the stagecoach? Don't worry, I'll think of something. <laughs> Me report to Sheriff in Puwanti, like you say, Kimisabe. Him keep sharp lookout for men who try to rob stage. Good, Tonto. I could find no trace of the outlaw's trail. It's getting dark. We better start again in the morning. On the way back, me stop at mission. Let her come for you. Look important. Well, it's from the governor. Him need your help again? It's about Clay Trowbridge, the son of an old friend of the governor who was accused of murdering a rancher. There's a thousand dollars reward poster out for him, dead or alive. It seems Trowbridge was working as a skilled locksmith at the time of the killing. After he was captured, there was talk of lynching him. So he broke jail and fled. Uh, him go into hiding? Yes, but a few weeks ago, Sheriff Harkness of Buckland County caught the real killer. He's been tried and convicted. Uh, Trowbridge not guilty then? No, but unfortunately, he doesn't know he's been cleared. The sheriff's tried to recall the wanted posters, but many are still up. Ah, that bad. Him might be killed for reward money. Yes, or forced to become a real outlaw. If that happens, Tunnel, there's no telling how many innocent people might become his victims. And what we do, Kimisemi? We look for Clay Trowbridge. What about two outlaws who tried to hold up stagecoach? We'll go after the outlaws later. The Trowbridge case is more urgent. The governor addressed this letter to Trowbridge, clearing him of the murder charge. It's up to us to find him and see that he gets this letter. Now, where we look for Trowbridge, Kimisemi? According to the governor, there's a good possibility he may have sought refuge in Risco. Risco? We hear plenty of bad things about that place. Only outlaws live there. I know it, Tonto. That's all the more reason for us to get to Clay Trowbridge as soon as we can. That'd be very dangerous, Kimisemi. Well, Tonto, we have never run away from danger before, have we? Uh, not Silver, either. Already him raring to go. <laughs> Risco, a small island in the Rio Grande River, 
was claimed by both the United States and Mexico, and hence, at least until the settlement of their dispute, was under the jurisdiction of neither. And it was to this place that Clay Trowbridge had come, seeking asylum from the hand of injustice. <laughs> See, I give that back. Think you're man enough to make me? Now, I don't think I'd do that if I were you, Trowbridge. What happened to your hardware, Trowbridge? None of your business. He pawned it. Just like he's been pawning everything he owns since he reached Frisco. You don't mean to tell me he's busted? Only thing he's got left is the fillings in his teeth. Think of that, and such a fine young fella, too. What do you want? Busted. Now, ain't that ironic? And him worth a thousand bucks on the hoof. How much is that a pound, Blaze? I don't know. I'm pretty bad at arithmetic, but it sure beats rustling prices, though. You two have got any ideas about collecting that reward? Say, now, we could do that, couldn't we? It's a lot of money. Yeah? Well, you don't rope this stair without a scrap. Oh, now, Trowbridge, we ain't particular. Dead or alive, it says on the circular. Anyway, I didn't say we was going to turn you in. I only said we could. Well, then what? Now, come along with us, chum, and I'll tell you what. <laughs> I guess I don't have to tell you how easy it'd be for us to take you to Texas and turn you over to the marshal and collect ourselves that thousand bucks. You said you weren't going to do that. Not unless we have to. That's up to you. What do you mean? He means that if you're smart, there's a way we can all get rich and nobody goes to jail. Six months ago, the Southwest Stage Lines did away with the old strong boxes they used to carry on top of the coaches, and they built new ones inside, under the seats. Now, it's practically impossible to rob these boxes. You can't break them open, and you can't hardly cart them away. Not unless you want to steal the whole coach. Yeah. And you can unlock them, because they keep the keys at the stations. Now, it's on account of this, chum, that me and Stack are counting you in. Me? Why, sure. Don't it say on the circular that you used to work as a locksmith for the stage lines? Well, sure, but... Well, then, you could make us some keys that would fit those locks. It's simple. All you got to do is ride with me and Stack, carrying the key you're going to make in a set of files. After we stop the coach, you get inside and do a quick job of unlocking the box. No, you can count me out. You got the wrong customer. I know I'll hoot. No. No, I never committed that murder, and I've never broken any law. Why, sure. Everybody in risk goes innocent. We know that. Ain't that right, Stack? Until they're hung. Look, Trowbridge, we believe you, but what good is that? In the eyes of the law, you're guilty. And look at you. You're broke, a fugitive. You got to eat, don't and you? And then Rosita, that singer at the Golden Nugget, you got to consider her, you know. What about Rosita? Well... She's taking a shine to you, but I can't see her throwing in with a guy who's on his uppers. Can you stack? Rosita's not that kind of a girl. She knows the fix I'm in. She doesn't care. Damn it, she's human, ain't she? She don't care now, but after the honeymoon's over. Why don't you smarten up? Don't be a chump. In my whole life, I never did anything dishonest. Not once. And look what it's got you. You will not do this thing, Clay. Clay, please, you mustn't. To help these bandits is a terrible thing. I came all the way from New England, full of ambition, rosy dreams, big ideas. Go west, they told me. It's a land of opportunity. Opportunity for what? What's it brought me? It's brought you me. And what have I to bring to you? Nothing. I come with empty hands. Clean hands, querido mio. The hands of the only honest man in Risco. Fine distinction for my epitaph. What's the future of an honest man in a community of thieves? I'm caught in the middle. Mr. In-Between, that's me. It will turn out all right. You must be patient. Something will happen. Only if I make it happen. Blaze was right. Why be honest and broke? That's for a fool. Querido mio. There won't be any slip-ups, Rosita. Not the way Blaze has it planned. It's simple. We wait behind Dead Man's Rock. You know, near the dry lake. There we waylay the eastbound stage out of Puente. And with my share of the profits, we can go away together and start in fresh. Run away, you mean? Oh, Clay, I'm so sick of running. I hadn't told you this before, Tiquitito, but I, too, am a fugitive, wanted by your American constabulary for shooting a man in Puente. You? I only wound him. A drunken pig, he insults me. It is a thing of honor, you understand? Your gringo law is strict in such matters. I'm well acquainted with the gringo law. Laws are made by men, querido. Mistakes can happen. If it is simply a question of money, I have a little put aside. That settles it. Clay! What kind of a man takes money from a woman? Is it better to steal? It's no use, Rosita. My mind's made up. Clay, no! Clay, you mustn't! Uh. 
Here it is, Tonto. The Rio Grande. You see that shallow ford and sandbar? The connecting link to Risco. What we do now, Kimisami? Well, we'll wait here. It's unwise for us to go into Risco unless we absolutely have to. I'd say at least half the population over there would like to get a shot at me. We're not even sure Clay Trowbridge is in Risco. No, but it's my hunch he is. Tano, there are few people on the island the law doesn't want. The outlaws employ them as runners to go back and forth on errands. We camp over there and wait here. Perhaps a runner will come by our way and we can question him. If no one comes, tomorrow I'll ride into Risco. I mean, sorry. finished yet. It's no use. What do you mean it's no use? I mean, I'm not going through with the blaze. I've changed my mind. Listen, Trowbridge, I give the orders around here. Hey, Blaze. What do you want? I just saw Rosita get a horse and head for stateside. How come? You tell me. She never left town before, and everybody knows the minute she sets foot in America, there's a warrant for her arrest. She must have had a mighty important reason for going. Maybe she and Trowbridge are planning a double cross. Yeah, I think he's trying to weasel out. I'll take care of it. No, 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 no. I got a better idea. Trowbridge don't know it yet, but he and Rosita have played right into our hands. You go on after Rosita and stop her. What's the matter? Ain't you finished with that key yet? We haven't got much time. I told you, Blaze. I know what you told me, but now I'm telling you, you're gonna do exactly as I say. If you ever want to see Rosita again alive. Rosita? Where is she? What have you done to her? If you harm her... Take your hands off me, Buster. Don't worry about Rosita. She's all right. We just got a mothballed away, that's all. And she stays put until you've finished your bit. Remember that. So you better get back to work. Now you're being more reasonable. Now somebody come from Risco. Come on, Tonto. Let my mask fool you. We're not outlaws. Then why you stop me? We saw you cross over from Risco. There may be a man there we're looking for. You might know him. Clay Trowbridge. Clay? What do you want with Clay? We have proof of his innocence. A letter of full pardon from the governor. A pardon? Oh, senor, if this is a trick. This should convince you it's no trick, senorita. Oh, senor, if you knew how happy this letter has made me. What happens to me, I do not care. I am willing to surrender now and accept my punishment. But Clay... Clay! What about Clay? We must stop him before it is too late. Before it's too late? What do you mean? He is a bitter man, senor. He has agreed to engage in a holdup. <laughs> Robbers stack in place. They. Tomorrow they will. <laughs> Manana. What about tomorrow? Tell me. They. Take it easy. Now don't try to talk. I'll get you to the doctor in Puente. Where's Strawberry? He's out getting a horse for the job. What about Rosita? She's taken care of, and just in the nick of time, too. You remember that masked character in The Indian? You mean those two hombres who spoiled the holdup? Yeah, well, she was talking to them when I plugged her. 
You finished her off? Sure. The next singing she does will be to the tune of a harp. I had a hard time shaking that Indian. He trailed me all the way back to the island, but then I think... Hello, Clay. <laughs> well, did you get a horse? How's Rosita? She's all right, isn't she? You promised. Oh, yeah, sure, she's fine. Ain't that right, Sam? Yeah, she's fine. If you don't mind, I'd like to see her. Well, I do mind. You'll see her after the holdup. It's getting late now. I think it's time we turned in. We got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Listen, Trowbridge. You ain't in any position to argue. It's a good thing you got her here as quickly as you did. Another 20 minutes. We'd have lost her for certain. She's going to be all right, isn't she, Doctor? Well, it's hard to say in cases like this. It's up to Dame Nature, and she can't be hurried. Why? Any particular urgency? Yes. When she lost consciousness, she was trying to tell me something. It's important I find out what that something is while there's still time to act. What's eating you? Nothing, I was only... Listen, if you've got any ideas about backing out now, forget them. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. She's running a dangerously high fever, and her heartbeat is very, very weak. Clay, chiquitito. Clay, querido mio. Delirious, the fever. Isn't there anything you can do, doctor? Well, I need some medicine, but the closest supply is in the Twin Rocks, and that's nearly a day's ride. And if you don't get it? I don't know. She is definitely in a bad condition. Doctor, write out the prescription. Tana will go for it. What about Trobage, Kimisami? I'll head for Risco and see what I can find out. Texas, plenty big country. Tracking down one holdup like looking for needle in haystack. It isn't only the holdup I'm thinking of, Tano. We've got to stop an innocent man from turning to a life of crime. Here's a prescription. Hurry. You not worry. Me be back in time. Your engine friend's right, you know. Texas is a big place, and there's no telling where that uh, holdup's scheduled. No, querido. No, you the malo hombre. Muy malo, malo hombre. Arpo el coche. La tarde. You savvy that lingo? La roca del hombre muerto. La roca del hombre muerto. A rock of the dead man. Dead man's rock. What? She's talking about a stage holdup. This morning, bad men are going to rob a stagecoach at dead man's rock. She's urging Clay not to help them. But what stage? That's the question. Well, the only stage out this morning is the eastbound from Puente. What time does it leave town? Well, if my watch is the right time, they left town an hour ago. In that case, I'll have to hurry. I can just about make it to Dead Man's Rock. Here she comes. Get down from there. Hurry up. Come on, get inside and open that box. Come on, come on, hurry it up. We ain't got all day. It's no use, Blaze. I can't open it. Blaze! We got company.
I am so happy, Clay. Things not happy for Blaze and Stack. Those two are out of circulation for good. And Risco, too. At least it soon will be. For the United States have finally conceded proprietorship to Mexico. And Mexico is sending in a detachment of troops to clean out that rat hole. I'm glad to hear it, sir. You understand, senorita, you'll still have to stand trial for the old charge that hangs over you. But under the circumstances, perhaps the judge will suspend your sentence. We are not worried. Hey, querido mio. Well, Clay, I don't think you'll have any more trouble. But just to be on the safe side, I think you'd better keep this letter on your person, at least until the reward posters have been taken down. And I hope you'll appreciate what a wonderful girl you have. Adios, friends. Come on, Tano. He never even told us his name. It's here, in this letter from the governor. He's the Lone Ranger.